are headed to a place that you are going to dig. I guarantee it. I just took Sam Squatch to the vet and I thought it'd be fun to stop by the local Cabela's to show my friends in Europe a Cabela's because I don't know if you have them there. I don't think you do. So we're going to go inside, see if they'll let me film. I think they do allow filming. Sammy's just checking everything out. She just took a, I'd say a pound and a half poo. <laughs> Like those. Oh, da -da -da -da. soft camo. Beautiful. This is what you call the whole paycheck, right? You come into this place, your paycheck is gone <laughs> every week, right? Every Friday you get paid, you come to Cabela's, all gone. Beautiful stuff. Now, I don't know what brand this is. Let's see. Shoe. I'm guessing this stuff is probably all made in China, but I don't know. Cambodia. Cool print. Like that. Hundred eleven Vortex. Hmm, look at that one. Beautiful. So obviously this is all hunting, soft camo, but what's the difference? There is no difference, right? Hunting, survival, military. I don't know if those are real or not. Let's look. Washington State record non-typical Rocky Mountain elk. Beautiful. Now my thing with hunting is if you're going to eat it, no problem. But anybody that trophy hunts, bullshit. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's go see if we can find the weapons. Where are the weapons? Hunting, archery. There's the mountain lions that we have here. I've seen a couple of these. They're big.
back there. I'm having to do the spins here because Sammy's wrapping me up with her leash. Got in here. Salmon? That camo clothing. Okay. Stay here forever. I was drawn to that green right there. Sitka. Okay, so you know this brand, Sitka. High end stuff. I found some of Sitka at the Goodwill bins. I've only found like two or three pieces. Gerber. So Gerber's from here, from Portland, Oregon. It's questionable where Gerber is made now. I get all kinds of different reports. Like, is it really made in Portland or is it designed in Portland and made in China? Don't know. Yeah, Gerber and Leatherman are both here. This is all just real basic stuff. The thing is, you can come here to Cabela's and get everything, literally. You get all this. This is for making your own cartridges. Vente. Oh, otro perro. Smoke this powder. Obviously, it's a lot cheaper to reload. And here's all our ammo, some of it. Every caliber you can imagine, known to man, basically. Bunch of air rifles. And they've made leaps and bounds in this technology. I've watched videos where these new ones can perform literally like a 22 long rifle same results pretty amazing look at that there's an AR clone electric little BB gun there's an A look at that AK that's funny Glock 19s now those things are disgusting those little pellets I find them all the time tens of thousands of them up in the woods I think they must make it so they are, they've got to be biodegradable because when you find them up there, it's just disgusting, polluting. Bunch of rifles. Take two, please. Beautiful. Kimbers, love Kimbers. HKs. Got to be a Glock section. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a Glock person. I'm Glock. 
Let's see what the Glock 9 is going for right now. Glock 30. Glock 10. Shadow systems. No. Glock 35. Glock 26. 22. Glock 19 Gen 3 right there. That's me. $4.99. So prices stayed the same. $4.99 plus I get a discount for being security. I'm trying to film for y'all, but she is pulling me like a freight train. She's strong. Look at these Berettas. Beautiful. Smith and Wesson. Bows and arrows. There's your weapon, if you're really into survival. That's what's gonna hold out, obviously, is bow and arrow, because you're gonna run out of ammo. They've got everything. Look at that behind me, that archery range. Can you see that right there? So you can test out your bow. Feel what's right. I'm surprised they don't have a shooting range in here. They might. But obviously, probably with the... <laughs> it's a little more complex with the firearm. The legal. The legal reasons behind it. Just letting somebody jump on a gun. Some big boys here. It's like coho to me. ATV stuff. So now we're getting more into survival stuff for your rig. I've got one of these light bars. It's, it makes all the difference. You're up in the woods, you want that light, nice winches. It's all vehicle stuff. Summertime, water ski. Little trolling motors. Fishing is, you know, massive here. I'm up in Oregon. It's all about fishing. And hunting. Anything outdoors, you come to Oregon, you're in the right place. Fishing. Hunting. Mountain climbing. Whitewater rafting, hiking. Ocean, foraging, anything. This is paradise. It's such a blessing that we have here because it's all free. You know, certain things you have to, look at that, a whole shop just for flies. You know it's serious <laughs> when you gotta, you know, you know what flies are. Mm, look at that. Nice looking shoe. Oh, I like that. Beautiful. Well, I thought I was getting the Ixnay 
no filming allowed and it was just a girl who works there saying who's your dog oh how cute how pretty and i said i'm filming for my friends in europe so they can see a cabelas and she said 100 percent, go for it we love it spread the word tell them that we want to open one there i said well that's a little bit of a problem for them because they live in a dictatorship basically when it comes to especially firearms you know you can't get any it's basically like canada is turning into my friends in europe are basically screwed trapped can't have firearms even carrying a knife is an issue it's just you you wouldn't believe it if you're from the United States, you just look into it. You won't even believe it. Look at that, baby. We got a little bowl of water out. Hope it's not some psycho that poisoned it. I think we're okay. Old pictures. Hunting. Okay, vamos, Emi. Vamos. Well, that was fun. Fun to go in there and get to show you some of the stuff. I've been coming to Cabela's my entire life. In the old days, it was, you know, pretty country. Now it's big time. But you walk in, it's still the same. There's certain places in the United States that are still the same. So you've got Cabela's, Bass Pro Shops, Buy Mart, Grocery Outlet, good local, I mean, I don't know if you can call them local anymore, but Mom and Pops, you know, made in the USA products, supporting veterans, letting you come in with your dog, selling firearms and ammunition very important stuff i'm 53 years old and a lot of this country has changed big time since i was you know young growing up and it's important to be aware of it because if you lose control and this country goes a different way where it loses these values of you know Made in the USA is a good thing. Law and order, all the basics that I think are just basic things that people would want. But things are changing and they've been changing for you know a long time and it will always change. This country is you know an experiment in democracy. So obviously things change, some for the better, some for the worse. But it's really just that feeling you get. If you're older, you'd understand. It's the feeling you had before there were cell phones, before there was internet, before this craziness that exists now. I just remember a different feeling where it was basically, it didn't matter if you were a Democrat or a Republican, right? We were all just Americans in this experiment together. The experiment being the United States of America. Now things are extremely divided. Obviously things have been divided for years but extremely polarized right now and that's sad to me you know it's all about having conversations especially with people that you disagree with you've got to keep that conversation going and when it gets so polarized that people aren't speaking anymore and it's just you know left right that's it well that's dangerous that's my little rant ciao